Hey guys, I'm April from Giggle Glitter Graphics, and today I am sharing with you my boho journal. This journal measures six inches wide by nine inches tall. It has five signatures, and I think there's about six pages in each signature. I have feathers hanging down the side, kind of turn that this way. And I got up this morning and one of these had been torn off by one of my cats <laughs> and I had to glue it back on. So if it, if it falls off, <laughs> that's why <laughs> it has seen some stuff. The cover is made out of sewn vintage fabric onto cardstock, a vintage scarf that I, a birthday scarf that I picked up gosh, yesterday <laughs> to add on to this. And I love this scarf. It has so much sparkle and shine and it was just perfect to wrap around this journal. I was very excited to find this at the thrift store yesterday. What else do we have got going on on the outside here? Um, this is a vintage button cover that I glued onto the front just for like kind of like a little knob. <laughs> Let me give some other angles here. This is a double cover, so it kind of folds in on the right and the left. So I've got some trim here. Here's the back. This is a nice velvet. The front has a clear acrylic pocket sewn onto it. And I've got this card here. I did do a video showing how I made this card. This opens up and I've got journaling space on the inside. I'm really happy with how that came out. If I can get that back in there. And this is just a cute little binder clip I had on hand. I thought that would be a nice touch on the top of that. As usual, um, I did use one of my principal kits. I used several of my principal kits in the making of this journal. So you can find a list of links to those down below in the description box, or you can check out my Etsy shop, which is Giggle, Giggle Glitter Graphics on Etsy. And just start pulling things out here. We've got all kinds of tags and things. This is another acrylic pocket, and then a piece of that velvet makes another pocket. This is a piece of journaling paper. There we go. I made a decorative paper clip to kind of fold that shut. So this journal opens. So we've got, it opens to the right. Inside cover, this is one of my boho tags. I just glued that to the inside. I thought that that fit that space very nicely. We got a little saying here, find your tribe and love them hard. And then this opens out this way. We've got some stringies here. <laughs> and we'll go over it. Let's see the inside back as well here really quickly. Um, I used some tickets as a little belly band. Uh, I tucked an envelope in here. I'm not sure if I put anything in the envelope. I love putting envelopes down through these bands like this and hooking them over the pockets. Oh, I do. Got a little bird card in here. to hold those things up so you can see them and then I've got a couple I went on a little bit of a tag making spree with some of the boho stuff and some of my cardboard from my cat food cans <laughs> this um, kind of an acetate was another thrift store find yesterday I had to make something with it right away I love that I have 25 sheets of that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that much of it but <laughs> make a lot of tags I guess and oh back here this is just a piece of paper I just folded the top over and put a little stamp on it I wanted um, something you could write on the back of it you could decorate the front there's a little fussy cut just to add a little texture but I needed to break up all that wild pattern so that my bookmark would pop up and show itself off a little more all right let's move to the signatures so there's a lot of big images like this throughout the journal. I used a couple of different paper kits, but most of this is the Boho Journal Kit. There's a lot of tags and things that are included with that. This is a butterfly specimen card. I love how this came out. I was kind of playing with doilies. I used kind of a seal sticker there and then made that a little flip up, a fussy cut and some fabric underneath. I turned um, this piece of ribbon into a tuck. I have a card in an envelope in here. Been playing with buttons a lot on my envelopes. I think that one's empty. I left room to add some more goodies later. 
This was just a little tiny page and I folded the doily over it and then turned this feather into a paper clip just to hold it all together. I really like how that came out and you could always add more bits and bobs underneath the doily. I thought that would be fun to add on to later. Another one of those big images and then a lot of goodies in here. I made this journal card using my cardboard and some of the journaling paper from the kit. And I've got this crazy netted ribbon. Another thrift store find. I've been posting my thrift store finds. I, I go about once a week. And I've been posting pictures of them over on Instagram. And I've been trying to think of a way to kind of build some content around that and show you what I do with the stuff I get from the thrift store. So I will have to see if I can brainstorm and come up with something like that. If it's something that people want to see. Did some stitching. Let's look this up just a little bit. I stitched the ribbon right down the middle of some some fabric to make these little trim pieces. I don't have a lot of like white and cream ribbon. I'm a very pattern oriented person and so I had a whole bag full of skinny white ribbon and I thought that that would be fun to turn into little edges. So these are the feathers on the outside edge. There are three strings of this and I've got three places in the journal where they come through like a bookmark and they could be used to mark the pages. And I like how that worked out. And we've got some more journaling paper. I just cut the big sheets from the kit in half. And then used those as journal pieces, journaling papers instead of um, thoughts and dreams. A little card to write on. <clears throat> Excuse my voice this morning. I'm a little hoarse. I might still be waking up. <laughs> Decided to um, go ahead and do this flip through before my cat woke up and came looking for my journal again. <laughs> this is another um, little paper clip. I love making these long paper clips. They make a nice decorative element and then you can clip things in. Here's another one of the cards that I made. I've been really enjoying collaging with fussy cuts and, and things like that to create interesting tags. The journal card and a fussy cut here. And this was one of the uh, bands from the kit and I added oh, this button. I've had this button for a while and I finally found the perfect place for this button. I've never seen a button quite like that. It almost has like a like it could be like a sweater pattern or I don't know, but that was a great button in my button bag. And this is the first I did these um, index cards and I turned them, I have four of these and this is number one. <laughs> so, and I turned them into little pockets and text throughout. Added some washi tape and tucked a little Card in there. This whole journal really fits my style. I'm kind of eclectic and I love mixing textures and styles and having a wild mishmash of things. So I just kind of let myself go crazy with the layering and the, the different elements without worrying about it being too busy. It's like, I love busy. Busy is my thing. So. This is a pocket, I don't have anything in here right now, but I had the doily sewn in and it, I, it was just free. And I was like, you know what, that'd be a really pretty pocket. And then I did a little stenciling at the top of the paper just to finish it off. And this is just some packing paper um, that I stuck in there. It's a little thin, but once you start attaching things to it, it's not too bad. So like on this side, I attached a big piece of paper to it. As an angled pocket, I tore it and turned it into an angled pocket. And that really gave it a lot of stability. I got a lot going on here on this one. I did do this, it was my no talking video. And there are a few things going on there. And we've got some piece of fabric here that turned into a little tuck. And then this card back here actually is attached and it flips up so you could journal on it. And then it tucks right back in there. I wanted to fill this space here. 
it was like, put something here, put something all the way to the top. So I did. <laughs> Some more pretty ribbon. And this is a tuck here. This is the second of my little cards I made. So I just cut pockets using the same, another piece of index card that matched. And I just cut little pockets and attached them. I'm gonna hold this one up. I got these wax sealed stickers and they have just been so much fun. This one has like a little fern on it inside. And it's a very bumpy button. It had the shank on the back and I didn't let that deter me. I've glued it on there anyway and it's on there very well and it's not causing any problems. So quite pleased with that. It's the middle of the second signature and I added a couple of charms onto the thread. This is a fun page. Um, I love these pockets with the kind of pictures on them. I think that those are so cute to use. And then I made, I took a little strip here and made a little flip open. You can maybe write a note in there. Another butterfly slide. Oh, and then I've got some fussy cuts down here. I've got the key and the door, another one of those seals. And this is actually a piece of fabric left over from my spring witch journal. I had some stitching on it and I came across that and said, that's perfect for the top of this page. So here, I decided to do a little flip using one of these mandala envelopes. I just tossed a little stamp there, did a little stamping on the inside. I've got room to tuck a little secret message or a note or journaling page right in there. Decorated the front. These are my blue index cards. I love decorating on those. A little doily. Flips this way. Did a lot of collage in this journal. I just was really enjoying being able to build a lot of layers. Um, use stenciling, little tape, and, and doilies, and fabrics, and there's another doily pocket. It was the same situation as the other one. And here's a little bookmark. I added a little tab to the top. Here I used one of the bands from the kit, the little belly bands and tucks, and just used that as a topper for a couple pieces of paper so that there's a space to write. And I really had fun with that concept. I did similar things throughout the later part of the journal. Some more stenciling on that packing paper. Here I've used some lines paper to create a pocket. And then this card is just tucked right in underneath the, the fabric. And this is more of that vintage fabric and vintage ribbon that I've sewn together to make an edge. This is really colorful dyed paper. I think this is left from my ocean journal. I'm not sure. I always try to use some leftovers from previous journals. Another piece of a journaling paper. There we go. I like the stamp at the top, like a tab. I felt like it just gave it a little extra something with kind of a break on this page. <laughs> Another butterfly slide. Just put some ribbon as a tab across the top on this one. Let me hold that up for you. So you can see and a little stamping on the bottom. These are double sided. I'll make sure there's a link to those down below. I don't think I've been linking those in the previous videos. And here's a little, this is another little envelope. I kind of tucked it over the top. And there is the lock to go with our key. <laughs> tucked into this tiny little envelope. And there you can see the little tab. I did leave the end of this free to use as kind of a tuck and it did work pretty well. I just don't have anything added there yet. And this is fussy cut over a strip of paper and I left that torn ruffled edge from where it's attached to the spiral in the notebook. I like that kind of jagged edge. And then I just use a stamp to kind of gussy that up a little bit. And we've made it to the center of the journal. Got our moon another set of feathers. 
So if you've got something like this with like I have the beads on there and I just wanted to show you if it's right down the middle, sometimes that causes it to bind a bit when it closes. So I just kind of move them to the side and that usually helps with that kind of a bulk. So it's, it moves it out towards the edges a little bit. Another card from the kit. We got, you know, I love my cats. Let me hold this up. There's a lot going on here. We got a cat and a stamp. And a couple of cards and a bird and some sound paper. <laughs> Tons going on here. A little bit of ribbon. I love these flower cards. They were perfect for this boho journal. I used quite a few of them through here. More stenciling work on the coffee dyed paper. And I love the shift to the kind of green hue here. Dowel card. There's the third of my tags. I turned this one into a tuck and it has a little, little card that comes out there. You know I love my rhinestones and buttons, so those are fun there as well. I took um, one of these finished tags. Now when I attached these tags, I did kind of just go either I left like a side and I made them a tuck this way or I left some room where things could be tucked in this way. Um, I stenciled over some white fabric on this. I felt like the white was a little too stark, but I did just a little collage work before attaching it to the page just to give this a little bit of um, zhuzh. <laughs> but there are four tags in this set. And it comes with a tutorial, so if you like to follow along, that is a, a great kit for those who like to follow along and uh, craft with me. A couple of tucks there, room to grow, more packing paper, journaling space. Where are some of those big images? I love the imagery in this the butterfly. It's awesome. And here I've got more of those papers set up to write on. Let's see if I can shift this just a little bit put something underneath here so that you can kind of see better it's gonna start this is a very thick journal um I didn't tell you how thick it was I think it's two and a half inches so let's see here yeah it's two two and a half inches thick um <laughs> I was working on it and trying to finish it up and I was like why did I make this so big <laughs> I make these for fun but I also make these to show you what you can do with principles Here's another one of those great images. A little room and I scored some feathers at the at the thrift store. So I've added some feathers in. You'll see a few of those pop up as well here in later parts of the journal. It was yesterday's thrift store trip. I really got a lot of great things. Um, this is a row of tickets. I just wrapped them right over the top and glued them down. So I've got three little tickets there. I don't think this is working so well. Let's put that out of the way. All right. And this is another one of those little doily flips. I put a little stamp inside. I've got the fussy cut. There we go. This lovely lady. And this time I glued the doily at the top. I had actually sewn this in. And again, it wasn't working for me. So I pulled this one out of the journal. I just cut it out. And, um... Ended up gluing it to a couple of the pages. I used a, a few places. So another tag. I stenciled behind this one. Put a little washi tape on the on the corner here, just to bring in some interest and here's some of the content. There we go. Life is a beautiful adventure. Embrace it with open arms is what this one says. I added a little rhinestone to the top. This is the center of our fourth signature. I've got a feather and a leaf charm. A little bit of a jute ribbon at the top and our fourth card, there it is. A little tuck there. I've got a dictionary page and that wraps around and another one of those seals. This one has like flowers inside of it. Well, it looks like there's flowers inside of it. They're not real flowers. <laughs> And there's the rest of that dictionary page. I had like jubilant. I had some fun words on it. Jubilation. I really liked it. Just 
tucks one card in here. Get some stamping and ribbon and all kinds of things. And there's a cute little tint picture on that page. Some more of this jute ribbon. Um, I got this ribbon on Amazon. It was a variety pack. And I'm going to try to remember to put a link down below for that. Um, please keep in mind that links to Amazon down below are affiliate links. And I may earn a commission if you make a purchase. So... And I appreciate that. <laughs> this one, I was working on this spread and I had left this as a journaling space and it just looked empty. Even after I put the feather up here, it just looks so empty. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna let the lines just be background texture. And I added one of these mandala envelopes, um, one of these pocket ones. And then I made a tag to go in it. And as luck had it, one of these, <laughs> Again, thrift store, I got these tags in a little box full of goodies. Um, it just ended up fitting perfectly inside of this. So I'm not sure if I showed you the whole thing. I'm trying to get it all into the camera. There we go. And it just fit just right down in there. Um, this was a little cutoff and then some fussy cuts and a little bit of the principal papers. This pretty bird. Really like that page. Here I took some of that um, boho ribbon and wrapped that right around the edge, the netting. I like how that came out. It's more of that dyed blue paper. This page, I kind of took a break here. I just kept it simple. I've got some pearly ribbon and then some lace. And then I tucked one of these butterfly slides. I think that's the last one of the ones I used. Got this cute tint. I feel like not every page can be decorated to the nines and sometimes what's fun is what is simple. And that is allowed because at the end of the day you're doing this for yourself because you enjoy it. A piece of vintage fabric on the edge of that. Oh, little cat stamp. thought that was super cute. I'll hold him up with my cats. I did try to include some dogs as well. I try not to be <laughs> cats only. Let's see if I can show you all this. This is more of that um, paper with the tear out, but then um, slide up. I did a little flip down with some stenciling and the butterfly and a little washi tape just to have a little surprise. I did not do tons of flips. I think I said that already. So I tried to just do a couple and have fun with them. And this is the center of our fifth signature. So we're almost to the end. And that's that third piece of string. We'll find out at the end here if uh, everything stayed glued back together. Now this one I had a lot of fun with. I got several different colors of buttons out. I did some of that netting over that. We've got a tiny little envelope with this tiny little lady picture in there. She's wonderful in her bohemian garb. Um, I did add a little feather over the top of that. A little pan of everything there. Hopefully I didn't get too close. <laughs> Got a, one of the bookmarks from the big journal kit. And another one of these really pretty flower cards. There's a coffee dyed paper with a little fabric tab and some more of that jute ribbon. Here I did a little angled. I cut angles on one of the strips, added a feather to the middle, and then folded a piece of my that's a paper clip. Let's pull it out this way. Folded a piece of the journaling paper long ways this time. So you have this cute writing space. And then this round fussy cut from the fussy cut set has been turned into a paper clip. And I'll, I'll stick that back together here in a minute. So here you can see the other side of the paper clip. And I have clipped a couple things underneath there. Here's the last of the boho tags. I turned this one into a little flip so that this space could be used to write or something like that. And I added just a couple little stamps to the back. I felt like it felt, I felt like it was a little plain since I didn't, I had left this belly band free to add more things later. So a couple little stamps just to finish it off. Room to add something in the future. And then we've gotten to the back cover. 
I added a couple feathers here. They are a little bit <laughs> flat because they're in the back of the book, but I don't mind too much. It's grand, a dream catcher, fussy cut. And then I did one last hurrah on my flippy papers. <laughs> this one has one of those pink seals. This one I think has a flower on it. And then these can flip up. And so can this one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of my boho journal. I really enjoyed sharing it with you. This was such a joy to put together. Again, if you are interested in the principles that I use to put this journal together, you can find links in the description down below. They are in my Etsy shop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.